Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahad in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful portfolio card effect using Elementor page builder. Sometimes you may create one very long page or maybe multi page websites that you cannot display anywhere as a single image. On that case you can showcase your website work by using this beautiful portfolio effect like this. It's really a creative way to showcase your multi page websites work within a single card. Alright, let's now have a look how we can achieve that using Elementor Page Builder. So without further ado, let's now go inside Elementor Page Builder. To take a new section, first click on this plus icon and I'm taking this three column structure. Now first I'm making its height to minimum height and let's set it in VH and I'm making it 100 VH. Also now let's give it a background color from under the style tab. So from here background type, I'm giving it a background color that's hash fff9f9 all right now inside this inner column let's now drag an inner section here and now underneath this inner section not inside the inner section i wanna drop a heading widget so from here click on the rubik's cube icon and let's drag this heading widget underneath this inner section here so first i wanted to say food website now from left let's the HTML tag to H4 and alignment to centered. Also I want to add some space at the top so go under advanced tab from here unbind the margin. Only at the top I'm adding 30 pixel of margin. Alright let's now start working with this inner section. Select the inner section. Let's make its height to minimum height and I'm making the minimum height to 380 pixel. Now inside this inner section, I don't need two columns. So first I'm deleting one of these columns. Right now we only have one column inside this inner section. Now click on this plus icon because I want to drag an image widget inside this column here. Let's now select the image. I'm selecting this image. By the way, these images are just screenshots of the websites. If you want to take the full website screenshot, you can do that by using some Google extensions. Personally, I use this extension. It says go full page, full page is screen capture. But there are also some good extensions available. All right, so I have selected this image and now click here on insert media. Now first thing from here image size let's make it full and alignment I'm making it centered. Now go under the style tab from here the image width I'm making it in pixel and let's set the width to 260 pixel. Then from here border radius I'm adding 10 pixel of border radius. So right now the corners of the images are rounded and then let's add some shadow with the image so from here box shadow click on this pencil icon from here keep the horizontal and vertical value to zero but here blur i'm making its value to 40 and let's reduce the spread a bit so i'm making it minus 10. all right let's now go under its advanced tab and from here open the positioning now I'm making its position to absolute, then the horizontal orientation, let's keep it zero from left and the vertical orientation, let's keep the offset zero, but instead of top, let's make it from bottom. All right, now I just wanna duplicate this image widget couple more time. So from here, let's duplicate the image widget once and let's duplicate it one more time. So right now basically we have three image widgets here but we cannot see the other two images because they are at the top of each other. Because you remember we have set their position to absolute and these three images position is now at the same place. So to work with them we can use the navigator just right click here and click on navigator. Now here on the navigator we can see here is the very front image, this is the middle image and this is the last image. So let's keep the first image as it is. Then from navigator let's select the middle image. From left let's change the image to other image. I'm selecting this image, click on insert media. And now make sure you have selected the second image or the middle image. Go under its advanced tab. From here unbind the margin. At the bottom let's add 30 pixel and at the left let's add 30 pixel. So you see from bottom it's pushed to the 30 pixel and from left it also has pushed to 30 pixel. That's why we can see it right now here. 
all right let's now select the very back image or the third image first go under its content tab from here change the image i'm selecting this image click on insert media and now go under its advanced tab unbind the margin this time instead of 30 we need to give here 60 pixel because if we put here 30 it will simply just go under the second image and we cannot see it so here instead of 30 i'm putting here 60 pixel and on the left let's also add 60 pixel we can now just close the navigator from here and have a look they are now stacked over each other and they are already looking pretty cool and now i want to add that cool hover effect so my goal is when we will hover over on this card the first image will go to the left center here the second image will go to here at the top center and the third image it will go to the right bottom here in this place all right to achieve that hover effect we need to apply some custom css with it so first let's just select the inner section go under its advanced tab and from here open the custom css tab by the way custom css is only available on elementor pro i will put my elementor pro affiliate link in the description if you purchase elementor pro through my affiliate link you don't have to pay any extra but i will get a little credit for that that will help me to continue this youtube channel and also make more interesting tutorials like this all right now inside this custom css field we can simply write down the css snippet or we can just go to jimfahaddigital.com i will put this pages link in the description from that page under the portfolio reposition css copy the css snippet from here go inside elementor and paste the css code here all right as so many of you already have asked me to explain the css snippets so here i'm trying to explain it very shortly here first these two lines are comments if you want you can just simply remove these two lines the main snippets starts from here so here you see i have first written the selector the selector is basically the element we have selected right now so as we have selected or as we are working now with the inner section so this time the selector means the inner section now inside the inner section we have selected a class name that's elementor widget image this is basically the image widget and you don't have to do anything with that because it's coming from elementor page builder itself so here first i made the transition to is in effect actually it's is in out effect there are several effects available but i made it is in out and then i have set the transition duration to 0.6 second so all the animation inside this will happen within 0.6 second now here you can see selector hover so whenever we will hover over on the inner section then the elementor widget image that means the image widget will transforming to here is scale 0.65 now here instead of 0.65 if i set it to 1 now have a look if we hover over on it and nothing changes because by default the scale value is 1 but here instead of 1 if i make it 1.5 and hover over on it you see it's now zooming in but on hover i don't want it to be bigger i want it to be smaller so here i'm making it 0.65 like this and then the main magic happens here within this three selector the first one whenever we will hover over on the selector the first image's position would be center left the second or middle image's position would be center top and the third or last image's position would be bottom right so to apply it we need to add these class names with the image widgets with the first image we need to add this front image class name with the middle image we need to add the middle image class name and with the last image we need to add this last image class name so let's do it really quickly i'm just copying this name front image okay first minimize the bar width from here so now let's select the very first image from here or to do it without any risk just right click here click on navigator make sure you have selected the very front image go under its advanced tab from here you see css classes here i'm pasting the class name that's front dash image make sure you have spelled it exactly front dash image like this all right let's now select the middle image using navigator from here css classes i'm adding its class name to mid dash image 
for the moment let's just have a look if we now hover over on it you see the first image is now positioned to center left and the middle image its position is now becoming on the top center on hover but the third image is still the same because we need to add the class name with it so from here navigator select the third or last image under its advanced tab from here add the class name last dash image we can now close the navigator from here so have a look if we now hover over on the inner section the first image goes to center left the middle image goes to top center and the third image goes to right bottom how cool is that by the way if you want to increase or decrease the transition time you can do that easily from here just select this inner section again from under advanced tab open the custom css and from here like i said i have set that transition time to 0.6 second but let's say if you set it to 0.2 second and have a look if we now hover over on it you see it's happening within two second but it looks really fast to me for example if you set it to one second and have a look it's happening within one second but it's also too long so i'm making it 0 0.6 and now this timing is perfect for animation in my opinion all right now before duplicating this column i just want to make sure it's looking great on mobile device and tablet device so from here just click here on the responsive mode first have a look how it's looking on tablet device so from top click on tablet uh-huh i think we need to reduce the images width on the tablet device so from here again we can just right click and open the navigator so the first image go under its style tab only on the tablet device make its width in pixel and i'm giving it 150 pixel width now let's select the second image also go under its style tab and i'm making its width to 150 pixel do the same with third image go under its style tab make the width in pixel and i'm making it 150 pixel right now they are looking great on tablet device as well all right let's now go to the mobile device so on mobile device it looks great but you know on mobile device there is no hover effect i mean there is no hover option on mobile device so whenever any user taps over this image they can see the hover effect all right everything seems perfect on mobile device but on the mobile i don't want this inner section's height this much so select the inner section go under its layout on the mobile device i wanna make its minimum height to 300 pixel all right let's now close the navigator also let's close the responsive bar and now you know we can just simply duplicate it and make sure you are not duplicating the inner column you need to duplicate the outer column from here so i'm duplicating it let's now duplicate it one more time and let's just delete the empty column from left also the empty column from right now here instead of food website we can say it digital shop and the right one let's say it would be a travel block portfolio and i'm changing these images really fast all right all of them are looking really nice at this point also have a final check on the responsive mode so from here on the mobile device they are looking great all the effects are looking great and on the tablet device they are looking great as well all right let's now close the responsive view and don't forget to click on this green update button to save your work that's basically it i hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever i will upload a new video on this youtube channel and if you want me to help you on your wordpress project or elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com i will try my best to help you personally once again thank you so much for watching this tutorial i will see you in the next video for now bye bye